Today I want to share with you a financial situation, a crisis really, where Velocity Banking can come in and really fill the gap. And this will really help you understand Velocity Banking, not just for making a comparison between which is better, making extra payments or, or, or doing Velocity Banking, debt leveraging versus not leveraging. When you start looking at Velocity Banking in a multi-layer dimension in terms of the different things that it can solve for or it can help or fill in a gap. And there is a financial situation or crisis that happens in almost every financial situation I've dealt with where people have reached out to me and I serve them and help them with their financial goals. There's this, there's this gap, a, a period of time where you're either producing a negative cash flow or you go from making high income to a spouse losing their job or you yourself losing your job and income gets cut in half. Now you have to make drastic changes or maybe there's separation, people get divorced. And so knowing how to properly borrow, be an effective borrower can literally buy you so much time to recover. So it has nothing to do with necessarily paying off debt, right? If I'm in a negative cash flow situation or if I go from making 25,000 a month down to 10,000 a month, right? And my expenses were 15, before I was positive, now I'm negative, but maybe I have three to six months worth of expenses. How could I turn three to six months worth of expenses and maybe extend that nine months to a year because maybe I might need more time to recover? How do I shift my strategy from maybe paying off debt to not paying off debt and trying to preserve as much cash as humanly possible for as long as possible to get me back into a better financial situation? So I'm gonna read to you real life situation that's going on. And this is you guys actually filling out my contact form and sharing your situation in detail, and then I provide some insight. So this is from Steven, so shout out to Steven. Makes about 12,000 a month, varies. Expenses are 13,000. Total debt, we have $146,000. I believe that's mortgage. We have $100,000 student loan debt, 30,000 in credit cards, 16,000 in personal loans, All right? So multiple six figures of, of debt, negative cash flow. Situation here is Steven is separating from wife, right? There's a lot of people out there that are getting divorced, right? You, you were on a track and then ideas, philosophies, faith, whatever happens causes you to split. And then there's financial burdens that, that come with that. So in Steven's situation, he says that he is a, value, a health economic value specialist for a pharma company, okay, 52 years old, and has a business, highly educated in math, science, and finance, but due to a job loss with wife and now legal separation has to support two households which has drastically impacted cash flow on his side has about hundred eighty thousand dollars in equity in a home that he wants to turn into a first position home equity line of credit so many people don't even know what a first lien heloc is the power of it how it can help us essentially buy time let's say you had a very high mortgage payment in a marriage right and then that marriage falls apart, what's the next thing that typically falls apart? Finances. So in that time frame of separation, you can get a first position HELOC to essentially eliminate the mortgage payment, the requirement of a mortgage payment of, of principal and interest payment, right? Along with having you know the escrow all bundled into one payment. With a first position HELOC, you're only responsible to pay for the interest, right? And there's usually like a 10, 15 year draw period, right? This doesn't mean we only pay interest. We're, we're intending to eventually pay the debt off. But in terms of filling the gap, there's a gap right now. We're in a negative cash flow situation. So we have to work on reducing costs of living as much as we can, but then also strategizing how we're gonna increase income. Well, how can we do that while maintaining the ship so it doesn't sink? Maintaining the households, in this case, two households. So a first position HELA could be a really unique opportunity where we can replace the first lien mortgage, throw it in a first lien HELOC, now have access to $180,000 of equity, and we can strategically use the velocity banking concept along with that equity to run whatever income we do have. Despite running a negative, we would still dump our income into the line so it's paying it down. Expenses are coming out over time. So it's extending our money. It's extending the 180 until we can, you know, figure out this, uh, the legal separation, the divorce proceedings, understanding two different households, you know, getting a, a acclimated and adjusted and pivoting to a new lifestyle. So that's what's going on. So they're, you know, considering getting a first thing HELOC to do velocity banking. They have a large sum of money coming in 
January 2024. That should take care of about $30,000 of the $46,000 that they have in revolving debt. That should bump up his credit score to the point where he could potentially qualify for a first lien HELOC. So right now we're in the we're in the planning stages. We don't have a first lien HELOC at the moment. And it sounds like they are not in a position where they have enough credit. He did say we're in the 500 to 600 credit score range. So realistically, it might take four to six months to really get that credit score up to where we need it. There are three banks that I'm aware of that are actively doing promotion regarding a first position HELOC, you have all-in-one loan, CMG. You have First Savings Bank. They have a first lien HELOC product. And then you have University Bank. University Bank is a new bank that I've learned about recently from Michael Lush, Replace Your Mortgage. He has a connection there. If you reach out to me directly about these three different options, I can send you the details directly. You can go to my website under resources and you'll see all-in-one, you'll see first lien HELOC. And then I'm working on that third relationship with University Bank. And so they also have a first lien HELOC product as well. There are other banks across the country that do first lien HELOC. You just got to do your research, right? But those are the three main banks that I know so far, and there are others. In this case, that's what they plan on doing. We plan on they're planning on dividing the estate, but staying married for now. And he wants to get started with my $50 a month course, Velocity Banking Manifesto course is 50 bucks a month. So he's investing in himself and he's looking towards, you know, going into more in-depth coaching and consulting services down the line. Any time I am dealing with anyone that is in a negative cash flow situation, let me be abundantly clear. I do not want your money. You do not have to pay me. I understand that it, it's important to invest in yourself. That's great. I do want to serve you as much as I can for free to where you get to a much better cash flow position and then you invest in myself. But I don't want anyone. So, so this man did not make an excuse despite being in a ne negative cash flow position. He might have some savings and he's decided to put $50 a month towards his education and connecting with me. That's totally fine. But if you're someone watching that's in a negative cash flow position and you just don't know how to release money to invest in yourself yet because you're in a bad financial position, there are ways to get a hold of me for free, but it requires commitment and discipline. Commitment and discipline. I need those two things. You have those two things, I'm willing to work with you. So commitment and discipline, action steps, click the link below. Joint Finance Geek Ministry, two times a month. We gather, it's a community, get access to a free course, you get access to a seven step process to exchange your social currency in exchange for financial coaching one to one with me. You take advantage of that, you take advantage of the free course, you take advantage of the free community, you take advantage of the live private workshops, Q and A's that I do throughout the month. Take advantage of all of that, we go from negative to break even to positive, my goal is to get everyone to about 500 or more positive cash flow per month through Finance Geek Ministry. That's my goal. Get you to 500 plus dollars or more per month consecutively, consistently cash flowing, where now you're going to be able to move a little faster with your debt elimination strategy, your credit building process, your personal financial stewardship. And then you're going to want to invest in yourself further with coaching, accountability, consulting, let's say from me, and we go the next distance, and I take from 500 a month to 15, 25, 35, 4,500 cash flow per month and beyond. So with that being said, this is a great way of looking at Velocity Bank where it's like, what happens when life happens? Lose a job, there's a crisis, there's a health crisis. You can turn off debt elimination for a period of time, not have to feel bad about it, and you can leverage Velocity banking, where you're still dumping all your income into the line, you're taking expenses out to pay bills, and you're extending the, the lifeline of the line of credit. Whereas when most people get in a financial crisis, they will immediately borrow money or spend money on a credit card. And so they'll spend the total amount of money needed in that one shot, they leave it on the line, and now that starts to accrue interest. Or if they take out a personal loan, five grand, 10 grand, whatever they need to get past the, the crisis, they immediately owe the five, 10, 15,000. It's accruing interest at a fixed interest rate, right? A fixed payment with a fixed interest versus if I had a, say a first position home equity line of credit, I replace an entire mortgage, right? Now let's say I got a half a million dollar line of credit and I owe 300 K on the line because that was what my mortgage balance was. So I eliminate a, a huge payment right? Say I'm in a crisis, crisis mode. Whatever income I am generating, I'm dumping it into the first lien HELOC. That right there satisfies the payment itself and the interest cost. And then if 
I have $200,000 of equity and I'm running a negative $1,500 a month, how many months do I have before I run out of cash, right? If we did the math on that, 200 grand divided by $1,500. I'm in a hotel, my phone's trying to connect to the Wi-Fi. So 200 grand divided by 1,500, it's 133 minus interest costs all throughout that time, call it 115 months. So you're giving yourself 9.5 years before you fully max out the line. Not to say we would ever get there, but notice how much time I'm giving myself <clears throat> to fix the problems that, that need fixing. Now, in some cases, some people might have, like Steve's case, only 180,000 of equity, He's running a negative thousand dollar in cash flow with his income changing, expenses fluctuating. Maybe he needs to spend a lump sum of money. He needs to spend 30 grand on lawyers and crap, right? And now we got to deal with child support or we got to deal with all these other problems coming into play. I could pull those expenses from the first position HELOC. Whatever money I'm making, throw it right back in there. And now money is getting used twice to satisfy the line, the debt itself satisfies the payment, right? Keeps it up to date due. And then I immediately get access to the same money I just paid down to pay more bills. And because of how and when we're paying bills, you're essentially just buying time. We're trying to buy as much time as possibly can. Positive cash flow more income, get adjusted, get past the health crisis, and then we get back on track in terms of eliminating debt. So those are your action steps. Negative cash flow, paycheck to paycheck, zero cash flow, break even, finance geek ministry. You're doing well financially, trying to make some tweaks in a situation, you foresee a situation, get yourself some accountability, some register for coaching, get my program, or you want to start small, join my course, get a feel for how I operate, you know, do your due diligence, do your research, that kind of thing. We'll go from there. Hopefully this was helpful. Have a wonderful day. God bless. And we'll be talking soon.